So I once commented on their video, the reason why the Irish were originally not considered white is because the Irish people were actually black. And I had two people come under my comment and call me liars and say I was just making up shit. But what they don't know is that I got receipts. Let's talk about it. This book right here, Whence the Black Irish of Jamaica. The typical of the Black Irish in Jamaica. Now let's read the bio. Describes the little known facts that the Black Irish and Scots who were deported and enslaved in Jamaica. The books is complete with images of these Black indigenous Europeans. That's gonna ruffle some feathers. That have been forgotten by most historians. Thus, this book opens an entirely new area of study that should be conducted to flesh out the incomplete history of the transatlantic slave trade. The acceptance and documentation of the enslavement of black West Africans is well known. However, there needs to be more known about these black Europeans who were deported and enslaved in Jamaica. And to give more backstory, the author of this book started to notice that a lot of Jamaican people had Irish last names. He wanted to figure out why so many black Jamaicans had Irish last names. So of course your first thought is, oh, they got it from slavery. But did the Irish even own slaves? So he looked at census records and slave plantation records and found that no plantations match these common Irish surnames. So the only logical explanation is that the Irish people that were shipped to America were these black Jamaican people. Funny enough, one day I thought to myself that Jamaican accents and Irish accents sound very similar. But of course, I thought there was no correlation because Irish are white people, Jamaicans are black people. But lo and behold, running across this book, now it logically makes sense. The link to this book is in my bio. You can read it for free. And I'm going to make a part two to this video with more receipts.